this is a brief introduction to developmental psychology and some of the ideas that will be presented to us over the course of this course. So what is developmental psychology? It is the study of the psychological development of humans over time, or the study of changes in behavior and mental processes over time and the factors that influence the course of those changes. The three goals of developmental psychology are to describe, explain, and optimize the development process. So what developmental psychology aims to do is understand humans better, to know what is in the realm of normal when it comes to human development, to inform social policy changes and the implications they might have, for example, the school grading system, which we look at in cognition and intelligence, Developmental psychology can be divided into six parts. Physical development, how the body grows and changes over the lifespan. Personality development, how lasting patterns of behavior and attitudes develop. Moral development, which is how morality, according to society and culture, develops and changes within the individual. Cognitive development, which is brain development, changes in thought processing and language and problem solving. Social development, changes in individual behavior in social context. And sexual and reproductive development, which is how the sense of sexuality and how the sex organs develop over time. There are some debates to do with the development process. And one of the biggest ones in developmental psychology is the nature versus nurture debate. Which is whether or not biology or the environment is more responsible for psychological development. Some people believe that biology or heredity, your genes and your DNA, are more responsible for psychological development. And this is the view that development is endogenous. Others believe that nurture or the environment is a bigger factor in psychological development. And this is the view that development is exogenous or coming from outside the body. Another key debate is between the qualitative and the quantitative. Some believe that there are qualitative shifts in development, meaning that individuals make developmental jumps that cause them to be different than they were before, which means that at some point you are on a different level than you were at the point before. Quantitative shifts, however, happen as an ongoing process of development and learning which means that there is no distinct stage, but development happens over a curve over time constantly. The third idea that I'll talk about is the critical period versus the sensitive period. Many people believe that it is impossible to develop a certain ability after a critical period. A critical period being a point in development when the organism is extremely sensitive to environmental output, after which it is impossible to acquire a certain function or a behavior. However, a sensitive period, which is similar to a critical period, but not quite as severe, acknowledges that development can continue if something went wrong within the critical period. So while the individual is more sensitive to input during that time, it's not imperative that any developmental milestone must be reached within that time. And this can be seen with people who have missed certain developmental milestones due to external factors. It is many times possible to regain certain developmental learning that one may have missed even after a critical period has elapsed. So to recap, developmental psychology studies the psychological development of humans over time. It focuses on several different types of development. There are some key debates to do with developmental psychology. There is the nature-nurture debate, whether or not biology or the environment is more responsible for psychological development. There is the qualitative shift versus the quantitative shift, which is whether or not development happens in stages or on a curve over time. There is the critical period and the sensitive period, which is whether or not development is stunted after a specific period of time. And that's it for now.